afraid it's this sweet, tangy, juicy, ripe, pulpy Hawaiian pineapple. Hi everyone, I'm Moody Boo and I am back with a perfume review. And this is a recent purchase by Parlemois and this is Mile High 38. Holy shit butts. This is such a beautiful pineapple perfume. It's gorgeous. Oh Lord. Now I know the Aventus comparisons is going to happen immediately. So bring it on because it's not Aventus. So there you go. It isn't even close. To me, Aventus's pineapple note is not nearly as strong and sweet and accurate as Parlemois. This is gorgeous. It's fruity. It's warm. It's a bit powdery. Oh, it's bright. It almost smells like there's some citrus at the top with the pineapple, like a hint of, of lemon or maybe orange or something. But that pineapple note has depth and it's sweet and it's tangy and it's bright and it's juicy and it's ripe. It is beautiful. And I tell you, every time we buy a store-bought pineapple when we're on the mainland and eat it, we're always disappointed because it's the difference between night and day as opposed to getting a pineapple in uh, Hawaii on the Big Island especially and cutting into that and that aroma. That's what I get with this. Whereas more of the store-bought pineapple is more of the Aventus for me. This is very unisex in my opinion. Um, I don't, I think pineapple suddenly is like being claimed by male dominant fragrances. And I think that's wrong. I think pineapple can be very, very unisex and it can be very feminine at the same time, just depending on what it's uh, mixed with, what notes are accompanying it. So Parlemois is Tonka, Immortal, Pineapple, and Patchouli for the most part. That's pretty much it. So when you first spray it, it's this sweet, tangy, juicy, ripe, pulpy Hawaiian pineapple. And there's a bit of patchouli in there too, but it's just this green earthiness that it adds to it at that point. And the tonka bean adds this almost, almost chewy sweetness. And the tonka bean isn't super heavy with that chewiness, that edibility. Is that a word? <laughs> doesn't sound like one to me. That tonka bean isn't so thick and chewy and edible that it takes away from that pineapple and the patchouli adding that green earthiness to it. And then when the dry down happens, and there's a there's a little bit of a change with the dry down, but that pineapple, that sweet tangy pineapple note stays throughout. It just lessens up a little bit once it goes to the dry down. And in the dry down, that's when the immortal and the patchouli really come into play. It still has that sweet, ripe pineapple note, but it's juxtaposed by this almost powdery kind of sweet hay note that the Immortal brings in there. And then the Pacholi gets earthier and a little more dominant with the dry down. It's incredible. It's my favorite pineapple perfume. I must say at this stage, it's absolutely my favorite. It's sweet, it's tangy, it's earthy, it's got a little green, it's got a little brightness in there. It's got a bit of gourmand, and yet it's earthy at the same time. It's gorthy. <laughs> You're gonna need a dictionary for all the words I make up pretty soon. It's so pretty, and I think this is year round. I've been wearing it, because I just got it like in the last month. And I've been wearing it and it's winter time now and it does beautifully. In the summertime, I am going to be in springtime, especially. Ooh, can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to be rocking the shit ski out of this. Oh, it's so pretty. So if you're sick of Aventus, but you love pineapple, you should really check out Parlor Moi um, Mile High 38 because this is gorgeous. Did I say it's mid-range? I meant to. It's like 145 for 50 ml bottles and you can get it at Lucky Scent. So 
I think this can be fun, frisky, festive, frivolous. Um, I think it, it hits all of the notes. It's a very versatile perfume. I honestly think you could wear this during the day with one spray. Um, two sprays, I think more is more nighttime. But it projects pretty well that first hour. It's about arm's length with two sprays, pretty close to arm's length. And yeah, it's, it's, it's arm's length, I would say. But it does come a little closer about elbow's length after about an hour or so. And that's kind of where it stays. And at about hour seven, eight, right in there, that's when it starts to become even closer to the skin. Not quite a skin scent. I can still smell it, but I do got to get quite a bit closer. I... It's beautiful. And one of these days, I'm going to dig its sister out, Milky Musk, that fell behind my very heavy, huge, packed dresser that I can't get to, <laughs> along with a Burberry. The first Burberry I ever bought is back there. I sprayed it like 10 times, and then it fell back there, and I had, that was like 10 years ago, 11 years ago, something like that. And then there's at least one other bottle of perfume back there, maybe two. I know. My husband's building me a butt ton of shelves so that I don't have to use my dresser anymore because I want to move my dresser. There's things I want to do in my bedroom that I can't because this dresser is huge. So anyway, that's about nothing, about nothing, about nothing. All right. Well, this was, uh, yeah, it was kind of a quickie review for me anyway. So you're welcome. All right. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate all of you. And please have a happy, safe, loving, healthy holidays, no matter when you celebrate or what you celebrate. All right. Will you take care, everybody? Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. Use your own nose and happy holidays. Peace.